Newly revealed text messages show U.S. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas's wife, Ginny Thomas, discussing plans to overturn Donald Trump's election loss with then-White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. And the Republican Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy has dismissed calls for the conservative jurist to rescue himself from other cases that might involve the U.S. Capitol riot. Take a look at the clip. No, I think, I think <laughs> Justice Thomas could make his decisions like he's made them every other time. It's his decision based upon law. If you spent any time studying... The Supreme Court Justice, he's one who studies correctly, and I mean, from all the way through. He, if he sees it's not upholding the Constitution, he'll rule against it. If it's the Constitution, and that's what his job should be. It's him. Totally. The Women's March and many others are calling for the impeachment of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas after the release of text messages between his wife and Meadows. Women's March Executive Director Rachel O'Leary Carmona said in a statement that the revelations that Jenny Thomas advocated for the overthrow of our democracy are disqualifying, not just for her as a human being of any decency, but for her husband, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. From the day he was nominated to the court, Thomas has always acted less like a reasonable jurist and more like his wife, that is to say a professional conservative activist. Carmona added, he is hopelessly compromised, conflicted, and corrupt, and he must be impeached immediately. The messages, 21 of which were from Thomas and 8 from Meadows, were part of more than 2,000 that Meadows turned over to the House Committee investigating the January 6th insurrection. He is currently no longer cooperating, although his attorney did confirm the text exchange, but he added, nothing about the text messages presents any legal issues. Thomas has previously stated that she does not discuss her work with her spouse, the longest-serving Supreme Court justice, and the second black man to serve on the high court. However, the Post notes that when the Supreme Court chose not to hear arguments from Trump about the election, Justice Thomas wrote a dissent in which he called it baffling and inexplicable that the majority had decided against hearing the cases. He added that he believed the court should provide the states with guidance for future elections. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe and join others who like their news raw too.